Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Lisa. Anatoly Karbov is well known for his playing style of boa constrictor. You know the big snake who can intertwine your neck, tighten, and slowly make you breathless. So just like Karbov, who is in favor of solid positions and plays as solid as possible. Takes minimal risks, but mercilessly makes his opponents breathless and hopeless. So let's have a look of how he tortured his opponent. This game was played by Karbov and his stubborn opponent, Viktor Kochnoi. And in this position, White's advantage is already crashing, and it's really hard for Black to play. Here, the most obvious and natural move for White is to play Rook C7, winning a pawn. Possible move for Black is to play B to A4, and then Bishop D4, protecting this B2 pawn. Rook B4, Rook D1, A5. White is clearly better in this position, but Karbov thought that this is not safe, and Black still possesses the chance of. Counter attack. So in a real game, Karbov chose a really solid move. That is a5, closing the position and making Black breathless and hopeless. Coach Noy, painful enough, isn't it? It seemed that Coach Noy was tall and aggressive, and Karbov should have felt stressful and nervous, but. In contrast to what you see, Karbov is torturing Koshnoi in the chessboard, and Koshnoi is really helpless. For Karbov, <laughs> nice to see Koshnoi suffer, just a lot of fun. So Koshnoi played knight c6, attacking this e5 pawn, and Karbov played e6. Do you think Karbov was going to take this pawn? After f takes e6, absolutely not. But Karbov played a really beautiful move that is f6. Here it's obvious that Black cannot take his pawn because White will checkmate in a few moves. So in the real game, Kochnoi played knight e5 and rook c7. Still, Black cannot take his pawn. So rook c8, rook c1, controlling this important c file. Rook takes, rook takes. Rook d8. And here you know what, Karbov was in no hurry to deal with this f6 pawn. Just leave it there. Just make you worry and suffer, and just for fun. But rather, he played a seemingly casual move, that is h3. But actually, this is a really clever and useful move because it prevents Black from playing knight g4, and then rook d1. A potential threat. And the most important thing is that Black does not have any good move to play in this position. For example. Black is not able to move this bishop because this pawn is under attack. So Black played h6, waiting for White to react in this pair. Karbov played rook a7, finally aiming at something. But this is also a terrible weakness of Black, because Black is not able to defend this pawn. And after losing this pawn, this a pawn will be a really dangerous threat for Black. Also, Black does not have any chance for counter attack. So, for example, Rook D1 trying to activate this Rook. King F2, Rook B1 attacking the pawn. But Y can easily defend this pawn by playing Bishop D4. Attacking this knight and further attacking this g pawn. So in the real game, 
Coach Noi played knight c4, struggling to attack this b2 pawn. And then bishop b6. Here it's useless to take this bishop because it will only help white to create a strong pass pawn. So rook b8, bishop c5. Trading this bishop and making the position as easy as possible. Takes, knight takes, g takes f6. Finally, this pawn has gone. Here again, Karabov played another solid move, that is b4. Because you know what, if you take this pawn, black may have a counterattack to play b4 and then rook b5. Or simply take this b2 pawn. But after b4, you can find that black is hopeless now because black is going to lose this a6 pawn. And this b4 pawn makes this a5 pawn stronger and more dangerous for black. So black resigned within a few moves. So we have seen how a boa constrictor subjugated a strong man. The trick is that in such solid positions, first of all, you should have enough patience and then enjoy the whole process of torturing your opponents. So if you like the video, just share it and welcome to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.